What is up guys, The Collector19 here and today we'll be taking a look at the Shota Aizawa in his hero costume, a Funko Pop from the MHA line. So, here we go. So the Shota Aizawa um, hero costume Funko Pop is a variant of the very first one that was released by Funko and it is actually an exclusive to Hot Topic. It's the first time that I saw that there's there's a little something oil on the plastic. There's, this is the first time that I took it out of the protector so uh, no biggie but as long as it doesn't stain the plastic we're all good. Man, hold up. So okay, I think it's all clean now. So once again, Shota Aizawa in his hero costume. An exclusive to Hot Topic, but this one is the special edition sticker. So I got this off Arkin Hobby Center. This is of course a haul for the Shopee 44 Mega Sale that happened last um, April 4th. So if you're new to the channel, that's basically um, a tradition that I do in the channel where I buy toys, Funko Pops, and different kinds of um, any kind of toy during the Shopee celebration sales. So this one is for the 4-4 sale or the April 4th. And I'll see you guys in the May 5th celebration or the 5-5 Shopee celebration. I don't know what's the name for that yet, but see you guys next month. So okay, here is the front of the box. There's a good shot of the mast. Shota Aizawa there. There's a little something on the box. I think that's oil. What? Uh, it feels kind of oily. So there is the front of the box. You can see 376. My Hero Academia logo. Pop animation logo. The special edition sticker. The media link sticker. Which denotes that this is a legit Funko Pop. And it's not a bootleg or a knockoff. And... Shota Aizawa's name there and hero costume. Onto the side, you can see the pop, the glam of the pop in its entirety. So 376, the name, the pop, and the pop, the pop animation logo there. And on the back, we can see the second wave of the My Hero Academia line. So I basically have all of these now. And the same old stuff, Funko logo, Funimation logo there. Collect them all, which I'm trying to do. 376, and once again, animation logo. Onto the side, same old stuff, Shota Aizawa, Hero Costume, 76, 376, a good shot of his eyes there, same old logo. And onto the top, same old, same old stuff. And on the bottom, we have here the licensing stuff plus the production date. So this was produced January 19, 2021. So this is brand new. They keep restocking this pop for some reason, I don't know why. So before we take a razor head out of the box, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. I post videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays or better yet guys, hit that notification bell so you will always get notified every time I make an upload. Also, you can check me out in my social media accounts. Links are in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's take a razor head out of his box. So I have my trusty E+. Plus card here to open up the box so just do this the conservative way that's uh, that's even a thing so he does come with a stand so that's nice because the first Shota pop also comes with a stand but he can stand without the stand on here we have the pop wow it looks good let's take this box out of the way and let's take a gander at the Shota Aizawa eraser head Funko pop the one with his goggles on. So first impressions, I really like the pop. This, um, the goggles or the sunglasses part has a metallic finish to it, so which is nice. And there's a little, uh, wow, there's something on his forehead here, on his hairline. It doesn't look too bad at all. I can live with that. So there's that. So here, as you can see, if you look closely enough, through his glasses there, or through his goggles, you can see his eyes peeking through. So that is one good attention to detail bonus there. So like I said, metallic finish on the goggles, on the shades. He has his hair up in the air. So I believe the body mold is just the same as the common one. So turning him to his back there, really nice sculpt on the hair here. There's a little bit of um, white stuff on his hair. 
it doesn't bother me at all because uh, I don't know Funko Pops are mass produced so I'm um, so my patience when it comes to their paint jobs and their um, details is not of high standard because like I said they're mass produced so paint flaws are normal there's one tip that I can give you guys paint flaws are normal for mass produced products but the pop still is in good shape so there's that nothing much to write home about this pop like I said there's some metallic finish on the goggles I don't know if it's just me but it looks metallic plus there's a little um, beard mustache there and he's activating his quirk in this pop so that's why his hair is up in the air and he's wearing his goggles because every time he's in battle or he's, um, he's in his hero mode or like the box says hero costume he wears his goggles if you don't know that's why he's called eraser head because he can basically erase someone's quirk off by just staring at them that's why i believe he's, he wears these goggles he wears those so that so the opponent wouldn't know where he's looking and he can easily deactivate or erase ter temporarily the opponent's or that person's quirk so there i really like the pop and here's a side-to-side -side comparison of the Shota Aizawa without the goggles on. So there, as you can see by the pop on the right, he doesn't have his goggles, obviously he doesn't have his goggles on. And his hair is actually facing down. <laughs> is that a proper term for it? His hair is actually dead or it's, um, it's subsiding, whatever. But like I said, it's still the same mold as the body. Yeah, it's just the head sculpt that differs. There's a side-to-side -side comparison there on the back. And it's kind of taller than the common one, which is um, understood because his hair is up in the air. Elf on the shelf, hair up in the air. So there is that. There's a nice comparison, guys. And yeah, looking at this um, Hot Topic exclusive, is, it is um, definitely should be an exclusive. If this wasn't an exclusive, it could probably be a chase of this pop so there that's nice right So that's it for the review of the Shota Aizawa Hero Costume Funko Pop and yes it is an older pop but it's still one of the pops that I need to acquire to cross out of my list because I'm slowly completing some of the My Hero Academia pops that I really want to get. I believe there are only 5 to 6 pops that I really want because some of them are remolds, there are some metallic variants which I'm not a fan of. Yeah some of them are hard to get because they are, they are either um, expensive or they are hard to come by and of course Shota Aizawa is a homeroom teacher in UA he basically um, he's the homeroom teacher of class 1A so if you're interested in copying this figure this Funko Pop I got this off Arkin Hobby Center he's originally going for 895 pesos to a thousand pesos the special edition one but I got him way below than that because like i said it was the 4-4 celebration there were there are sales here and there and i was about to purchase him from a different store but thank god i scrolled and scrolled and scrolled i think 20 times and i found him from arkin hobby center and he was only going for 720 pesos and i have some shoppy coins and some shoppy vouchers discount vouchers at my disposal so I ended up getting him for, are you ready guys, 580 pesos. So it's a super steal, not, not the super super steal, but it's a great steal, it's a bargain, and he came in a good condition. And kudos to Arkin Hobbies customer service because they sent pictures prior shipping and the first time they sent me pictures I noticed that um, Aizawa's hairline or the paint on Aizawa's hairline is actually fading so I messaged them and I asked them if, if it's just a reflection of the hairline and they told me that they they will replace the pop which is good but uh, on my part it was okay I'm not um, I didn't want them to replace it because because the pop was already being packed so yeah it's still kudos to you guys your customer service is top notch that's not the first time that i've um had an experience with your customer service this is actually the second time and yeah still 
top-notch customer service. So if you want to check their stuff out guys, they don't just sell Funko Pops, they sell uh, model kits, hot toys, McFarlane's, and a lot of cool stuff. If you want to check their social media platforms out, links are all in the description below. So thank you Hobby Arkin Center. Mali. So thank you Arkin Hobby Center for this Shota Aizawa Funko Pop. Believe it or not, the first Funko Pop that I got from the My Hero Academia line is the Shota Common one which I showed you earlier and this is the latest one so uh, fun fact guys and yeah guys like I said that's it for the review of the Shota Aizawa Funko Pop and once again thank you to Arkin Hobby Center for this sulit deal for this bargain I got him for a very decent price shipped and with a protector on so like I said guys if you want to check their stuff out links are all in the description below so that's gonna be it guys. Once again, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys for supporting me and supporting this channel. Once again, this has been The Collector. Thanks for watching. Let's collect plus ultra and I'll see you in the next video.